Welcome to the Life Touch Yearbook Training Series. In this episode, we'll take a look at the features of the dashboard on the Life Touch Yearbook website. And for those of you working with more than one yearbook, you'll learn how to switch between them using the Change Yearbook feature on the dashboard. This is the Life Touch Yearbook website's dashboard. Each time we log in, our dashboard will be the first page we see. It allows us to see our progress throughout the year and provides a central hub for communications and resources from LifeTouch. Here on the left, we have an overview of our upcoming and overdue deadlines. I can see at a glance that my cover is a couple days overdue. I can also see how much time I have remaining to complete these other tasks. Moving down, we can see how many pages have been finalized and submitted. And here, we can see how many books have been sold and how many copies we ordered. If you're using LifeTouch for Picture Day, you'll see when it's scheduled under Events. You'll also be notified here when your portraits are available for import to the yearbook website. Moving to the right, we have the Preview Yearbook button. This allows us to flip through the pages of our yearbook to see what it currently looks like. Let's go back to our dashboard by clicking Dashboard on the top menu. To the right of the Preview Yearbook button, we have the Change Yearbook button which allows us to switch between different yearbooks that we're managing. Since that won't apply to all of us, let's discuss the rest of the dashboard first and then come back to that at the end of the video. Here we have messages and updates. This is where you'll find the advisor newsletter and other important communications from LifeTouch. And below that, we have tips, tools, and resources. This is definitely a section you'll want to scroll through and check back on regularly. LifeTouch's yearbook designers and experts will be posting valuable ideas and resources here throughout the year. At the bottom, we come to our quick links that can bring us directly to some important parts of the website. The nice thing about this section is that it's organized like a mini project plan that represents the most common workflow for creating a yearbook. So you can move from book settings, to selecting your theme, to creating a cover, to building your pages, and end with submitting your yearbook. Great! We have one last feature of the dashboard to discuss. Let's move back up to the Change Yearbook button. Sometimes, yearbook advisors and staff need to manage multiple yearbooks at a time. This button allows us to log in once and then be able to switch back and forth between our different books. Let's try it together. We'll click the Change Yearbook button. Here we see a list of all the yearbooks we've been assigned to. Since I'm an admin at LifeTouch, I have quite a few, but most advisors will have a substantially shorter list. You'll see the name of the school here, and the associated job number will be listed here. If I click on one of these yearbook accounts, it will pull up the dashboard for that yearbook. Great! Let's click Change Yearbook again to go back to our other yearbook. I can search for a yearbook by school name and job number. I know my job number, so I'll type that in and click the search icon. There's the yearbook I wanted. I'll click that to open it. And that's how to change yearbooks. For more info on using the LifeTouch Yearbook website, check out our other episodes. Happy yearbooking!